Posture control seeks to prevent back and neck pain caused by an incorrect posture. More specifically, our project helps you to maintain the correct posture, warning you whenever your position may represent a risk for your spine. Posture control is a simple and effective solution, and most important, it is very easy to use. Hello, I am Anka Frosiniano and I am an 11th grade at the International Computer High School of Bucharest. Hi, I am Ana Radu and I study at the International Computer High School of Bucharest and I am in the 11th grade. Now we will present you our project, Posture Control. We've always been advised to have a straight back, sit straight at the table, walk with our head up, sit straight in our chair, etc. Nowadays, we're walking less, stay longer on the chair, and so healthy life becomes like an ideal that can only be achieved with too much time and a lot of attention. Unfortunately, there is a general tendency among young people to manifest symptoms of diseases that used to occur around middle age from an early stage of life. The causes of this rapid uh, degeneration of the body are not a mystery. In this project, we are trying to present a solution for improving the quality of life and preventing diseases that may be we are not aware of, but which can leave major repercussions on our future health. With posture control, because that's the name of our project, your posture is continuously monitored and you are warned whenever your position is wrong, so you can correct it. Moreover, if the warnings overcome the admitted number of five per hour, our device will alert you in a different way that you have to do more for your health. Maybe do some um, a short break or some simple exercises. Technically, to accomplish this project, we are using a chip kit, UNO42 microcontroller board created by Micro Technology and Digital Companies. Added to the board, we have a very good sensor, a bending sensor, 11.4 cm, which is called brick bending sensor. It is attached at the zero chip kit pin and the signal is analogical with it. Besides the, besides the sensor and the chip kit board, we are also using a small vibration motor which is added on pin 7 of the board. Just for visual impact, we are also using the LED of the board, the fifth LED, which is at pin 43. Um, this means that when a bias is needed, the LED is going to do exactly the same thing as the vibration motor. In, uh, in the program, which you, you will find in the enclosed section of, from the documentation, um, we are actually doing what we are actually doing can be explained like this. In the first four seconds since the board started working, the calibrating process is happening. It means that the person will do all the permitted moves until the maximum flexure that he or she knows is allowed for him, based on what his or her doctor said. And the board will establish the minimum and maximum values that the signal coming from the sensor can take. This signal has values between 1000 and 23 and 0, 1023 being for the straight position. It means that hopefully for every person the maximum value will be 1023 and the minimum value will be based on how much he or she is allowed to bend without being considered bad for his or her health. We are doing this calibration process because every person is different when taking our position and maybe even from the start when we put the sensor on their back or neck um, it is already somehow bended. For a better understanding of the values, we are using serial monitor from Arduino to show these minimum and maximum values, as well as the value coming from the sensor at that moment, at a, at a speed of 1 reading per 50 milliseconds. Then, if the analog readed signal from the sensor is outside the permitted interval, the pin corresponding to the vibration motor is set at high, so it will buzz until you correct your position. You can walk with a confidence that will leave a lasting impression on those who meet you on your way to glory. Posture control will take you there.